light up in the sky. Hi, it's Linda here. So I see we've been playing <clears throat> war games in Jordan and uh, basically slipping more arms into the Syrian rebel Al-Qaeda hands because some red line has been drawn in the sand with Obama after he took, <laughs> oh wow, get this one, took some advice from Bill Clinton. Ooh. Talk about scary shit. If that's who you go to for advice. I've already got my red line drawn in the sand. I've had enough. Since I've been born. I was conceived in 59. So that's how we date our birth. If you're Native American. <clears throat> We've been in perpetual wars. I've had enough. I cried when I saw that they were doing war games and that they had, they said 300 troops, but I believe it's probably, that's a very low number. I'm sure we have more than 300 boots on the ground right there at the Syrian border, probably 3,000 or even more. A no-fly zone over Syria, so I see Syria looking like Libya pretty soon. There's a song by Cat Stevens are Yusuf Islam. It's called Where Did the Children Play? And um, I don't know. I was thinking of that song today. And, um, you know, I was also thinking of a Pink Floyd song about, look, Mommy, there's an airplane up in the sky. And it talks about, uh, you know, the falling bombs and, you know, why do we have to run for cover? And then it was, it kind of hit me hard because I don't guess the perpetual war is going to end unless we stand up. Now, I do want to still protest the June 21st, 2013 boycott against corporate America and hurt them in their pocketbooks really bad. Just stay home, do nothing, don't do any transactions. But right now, we got to figure out a way to stop the war. And I'm dead serious, man. This is humanities. They're killing the kids. Little brown skinned kids, you know. I'm a little I was a little brown skinned kid. I was a Native American. You know, we're kind people, Native Americans, and loving and peaceful. And and we, we actually the warriors held a code of honor and I've put it up several times on my channel. Now I don't know about how they are over there. But it seems to me that the Assad regime has just really held their, held to their, it seems like they're a little bit honorable too. And the rebels have been, well, we know that the chemicals came from the United States. I wouldn't be surprised if McCain himself delivered them in person with a USA label on them. And I'm about sick of the boogeyman Al-Qaeda. And if we go into war with Syria, we can expect false flags here in America. And it's going to terrify everyone. I don't want a false flag here. I don't want any more death. This ritual of death with these parasites, elites, has got to stop. Something's got to happen. Arresting Obama's not going to do the job. We've got to turn our power away from all of them. And my, my red line has been drawn in the sand. I'm tired of them. I'm tired of war. If I have to walk this weekend with a sign by myself and a candle in my hand, to stop the wars, I will. Up down my lonely little town. I'm just hurt. I have cried over this. It is disgusting. Now, how do you feel about this? You want to go into another war? We Do you want to go into another war? Do you want more human beings killed for nothing? Nothing but the profit of a few at the expense of humanity. I know you don't. I know everybody who comes to this channel doesn't. I just have to rant. I'm hurting. I'm hurting. This is breaking my heart. I didn't know we were doing war games with Jordan and putting anti-defense missile things up so they can't hit Israel. Israel. <laughs> the Israel. I hate to even play on any religion because I get attacked by religious people all the time because I'm not a Christian. I'm a Native American. And I follow the Red Road. But Israel is not a religion. It is a state. It is a state that thrives. And it thrives on nothing but chaos. 
Now, Jew Judaism is a religion, but the Zionist Israel, they're bankers. They want money, and the only way they can get money is to keep us in fear and cause conflict throughout the world. And the more blood they spill, the more fear they <clears throat> ensue. So, right now I'm a little angry, and I hope that you guys, you know, are a little angry too. When's your red line drawn? When are you going to stand up and say, I don't want wars? When are you going to tell them in D.C., the District of Criminals, no more? Will you call your senators? Oh, I do, even though they don't listen. So when do you take to the streets and just hold the sign? And then what do we do after that? We need to start finding solutions because this is this will be the World War, I don't know, three, four, because, see, us Native Americans, we, we count our genocide as a world war. Um, <clears throat> so... You know, whatever world war you want to call it, um, it's enough. My goodness. Think about it. Jeez. In 200 years, how much blood's been spilled? In 1,000 years, how much blood's been spilled? Over, over religion, mainly. And, and it, they, that, well, no, it hasn't been over religion. Religion has been a tool. It has been over empires wanting to control you and they control you with religion and they control you with fear and I've had enough what say you you can leave your comments below I'm just angry and I'm sorry because I really do love everybody I love humanity I pray um, but anyway peace and love and let's let's try to have hope and let's hope that the Syrian people can pull through this and the rest of the world we're probably droning and killing right now.